Hi, welcome to Wise Guys. This video is on algebraic fractions and it's the first video on reducing fractions and finding the equivalent fractions. So um, in these videos what we're going to be doing is reducing fractions by dividing the numerator and the denominator by the common factor. So um, there's an assumption made at this point that you know how to factor. And if you don't, go back to the videos on factoring. Now when we're doing that, we're doing a process that's called cancellation. Um, another thing to pay attention to is this. Um, when we have a number minus a number num another number, we can actually change that we can sort of flip those two if we have to by multiplying that piece by a minus. So let me give you an example. If I have 2 minus x, and let's say I want x minus 2, all right? That's what I want, but I have this. So what I do is I multiply this entire thing by minus 1. So then I take the minus 1, multiply it by the 2, that gives me minus 2. The minus 1 times the minus x gives me a plus x. And so we end up with x minus 2. So basically the inverse of this. So it's just, it's just something that you need to remember because you will come up with stuff where you might have, for example, 3 minus uh, b divided by b minus 3. So all you do is multiply top and bottom by minus 1. That turns one of them around, so on the top we would leave it as minus 1 times 3 minus b. On the bottom, multiplying that through gives us 3 minus b, right, because this times this gives us a minus b, and the minus 1 times this gives us a plus 3. And you can see top and bottom, these can cancel, right? So that's how you use that piece. <coughs> All right, so here's our first fraction that we're going to reduce. And at this point, and again, we're focusing on the factoring. So what we want to do is figure out what, what's um, common to the top and bottom here. We can see that in the numerator and the denominator we have a 5. And in the numerator and denominator we have an A. And we don't have a B top and bottom, so we can't put a B there. But we do have an X top and bottom. So we can factor out and 5ax top and bottom. And on the top, we're left with an a and a b. Now in the bottom, we have to do the same thing. Pull out f or 5ax. And what are we left with? We're left with 3x squared. Okay? So then 5ax divided by 5ax is 1, so these two are gone. And we're left with ab divided by 3x squared, and that would be the answer. And basically the same fraction, but reduced to the lowest term. Okay? All right, so here's another one, and for this question, you need to know how to factor, and I'm making an assumption that you know how to do that. Um, so I'm not actually going to walk through the steps of factoring here. If you're not sure how to factor, go back to the videos on factoring. What we're looking at here is what's called a perfect square, and when we factor it, we end up with x minus 3, times x minus 3. 
on the bottom, we're looking at the difference of squares. And if you're not sure how to factor the difference squares, just go back to the video on that. When we factor this, we end up with x minus 3 times x plus 3. Now here you can see the x minus 3 divided by the x minus 3 become 1. So these two are gone, right? And we're left with x minus 3 over x plus 3. And that would be your answer. Last question. Okay. So now for this one, what we do is we factor out the common terms for the top and the bottom. So on the top, we can see that there's a 6x in both, both terms. So we take the 6x, or pull the 6x, S, can't even talk, pull the 6s out of here. We're left with 1. And essentially what you're doing is just dividing this by the 6s, right? If you divide this by 6s, you have to divide this by 6s. So when we divide 18st by 6s, we end up with, and don't forget it's a negative here, so minus, we end up with 3t. Okay, so in the denominator, we can see what's common to both terms is the 2s. So then we pull out the 2s. We're essentially here dividing this by 2s. So that gives us 3t. And we're essentially dividing this by 2s, and that leaves us with a minus 1. Okay. Now here we can see the 6s divided by the 2s gives us a 3 in the numerator. So in the top then we're left with a 3. And in the top we have 1 minus 3t. And in the denominator we have 3t minus 1. Then we look at these two and we say, oh, look at that. They're exactly the same except they're flipped and they have the negative there. So that means I can change one of them if I multiply top and bottom by minus 1. So that's what I'm going to do. So I multiply the top by minus 1 and I multiply the bottom by minus 1. Okay. So now we only need to change one of them. There's no point in changing them both because we'll have the same problem. So I'm going to change the one in the denominator. I'm going to leave the top as minus 3, 1 minus 3t. And on the bottom, I'm going to multiply through here. So I end up with minus 3t plus 1 as I multiply that through. Now I'm just going to change this so it becomes apparent what we're looking at. So we have minus 3 times 1 minus 3t. And in the denominator you see we have 1 minus 3t here. So 1 minus 3t. These two cancel one another, and we're left with an answer of minus 3. So that would be the answer. All right? And that video has been brought to you by Wise Guys. I hope you have a fabulous day. Take care.